Over the last few weeks, obviously, we've all had to make major changes to our lives. And for many self-employed people or business owners, it has been absolutely a worrying time. But one person who hasn't let that stand in her way is local photographer Jemima Wilcox. As her day job as a photographer has had to be put on pause for obvious reasons, there are no events, people are taking time out, we can't do, we can't get together and have photo shoots. She's come up with an innovative way to bring some pleasure to the county. Jemima is using a 3D printer to design and make jewellery instead. I'm so happy that Jemima is with me now because I've I've been fascinated by this. Good afternoon, Jemima. How are you doing? Hi, Louise. I'm pretty good, thank you. It's brilliant to come speak to you today and share um, the message of viral kindness and 3D printing. Well, firstly, tell me a bit about you, because your day job um, pre-pandemic is a photographer, so I'm guessing that's weddings and corporate shoots. What kind of things have you been doing? So we uh, run a company called the Wilcox Collective and we specialise on creating amazing visual content for tech companies. Um, we've got a uh, sister brand of Jemima Wilcox Photography and we create brilliant brand portraits for amazing individuals. And I'd say I'm not your average portrait photographer. I describe myself as a bit of a big geek. I'm a bit weird, but I'm extremely kind and I'll go out of my way to help people. So obviously, like many self-employed, but well, like everybody, frankly, no matter what kind of mm. employment you're in, you can't do your day job right now because we can't see each other. We can't have events. We can't get together. Everything is on hold. That hasn't really stopped you, though, has it, Jemima? Not particularly. No. I mean, I, basically, how it happens, I'll give you just a bit of a story. So, you know, my outlook is I just really want to make use of my time. I really want to help people. Um, so my husband bought a 3D printer at the beginning of March. And we're quite a geeky couple, but he's a bit of a bigger geek than me. Um, and he plays tabletop role play. And he wanted to use the 3D printer to print miniatures for his characters. And I just scoffed at it. I thought, ah, that's, that's not something that I can use. But it dawned on me that I could create my own 3 jewellery and pieces of uh, really bespoke things that would make people smile. So I found out about this whole thing of this hashtag of viral kindness and a lady called Becky Wass created a flyer on, you may have seen come through your door offering people um, help that were self-isolating and I thought well you know this is a great idea. I took my own spin on it and decided to use our 3D printer to create bespoke gifts for members of our community uh, and the business community I'm part of and so what we did we created some necklaces for many people and had commissions from logos, keyrings from local business like Optimizey and Cabo Creative and the feedback we've had has been immense and people have said that you know they've had a really down day and then my package arrived, thank you so much Um, no idea how this means to me Um, and Andrew from Optimizey said you know we all need stuff like this to make us smile and that's just what he did when he received my package so it's just sharing a bit of viral kindness out there using technology and it's just basically got me to go in a different direction and it's still allowing a creative outlet so I'm so happy to be able to help these people and bring a smile to their face. Jemima can I ask you a really really silly question and I'm hoping I'm not the only person who's thinking this (laughs) I don't really understand 3D printers I know they're a thing Mm -hmm. But I can't quite like get it. Can you kind of explain it to me like I'm five? Because it's like you can just invent anything out of nothing, right? Is that like you can literally make anything? So something that we've been asked quite a lot of recently is that they, um, the Anbrooks and the local services need PPE equipment to help them protect themselves and protect their staff. Um, and now, unfortunately, we've not been able to fulfil this because there are two types of 3D printers. There's the one we have that prints in resin and the area that it prints is quite small. Now, that's not suitable for these type of PPE-related uh, uh, requests, but there's a second type of 3D printer that uh, prints Uh, with a type of plastic that's safe and the printing area is bigger. So how it all works, and there's a video on my Twitter account, so it's pinned to the top at at Jemima Wilcox if you want to find it, Uh, pinned to the top where I've created a whole video of how we start with our designs, how it prints and how we make it. So we basically start with a pre-existing design and a design file suitable for the printer. We use uh, coloured resin, uh, and that's in liquid form, so we use liquid resin, and basically we plug the uh, USB stick with the file 
dial into the 3D printer and it uses UV rays uh, and light to actually print that onto the uh, print plate. And it's, it's fantastic. You take basically uh, a digital file. So we've been doing logos for our um, commissioned logos. Um, you create it into the correct um, file platform to make it into a printable file. You put it into the back of the 3D printer, you press go, and then within oh, 35 minutes, you have a 3D printed uh, piece, uh, which is beautiful. So and it's, it's fascinating how you can make something from nothing appear in less than an hour. This is what blows my mind, I have to tell you. <laughs> so you say it takes 35 minutes. Um, mm. Are they as temperamental as simple printers that are supposed to take 30 seconds, but they get jams and they run out of toner ink and then sometimes they just don't want to work? Or mm. are they so modern that actually they're just really slick and that it's always mm. going to be 35 minutes and there's no problem? Mm. So, Louise, just to explain, I mean, I'm a complete new person to this technology. And, and what surprised me the most was how user-friendly it was. There are many uh, guides out there on how to use these printers, and they've come down in price significantly, and they're very user-friendly. The way that our 3D printer, as it's a resin printer, uh, imagine many layers. It prints in lots and lots of tiny 0. Uh, zero three millimeter um, sheets uh, and it depends on how difficult or how intense the print is our ones uh, the 35 minute ones for the logos are quite simple because it's just printing uh, around a thousand layers my husband um, was playing around recently and made um, a plate that will attach to the printer to help us use it that took 16 hours Oh, uh, a very 16 long time. hours. Yeah, it can take a very, very long time, depending on the complexity of the uh, design. And, and also, it does use a thing called support. So what you can do, the things I've been printing predominantly lay flat on the plate and don't need a support. Larger objects need supports, which are small pieces of plastic that support the actual model in the printer. And the time comes because they need to print every support in length layer by layer by layer by layer. So take, for example, our logo um, designs we're making for people. They only take 35 minutes because they're no more than maybe between five to a thousand layers. And um, the 13 hour print is between 2,000 to 3,000 layers. So the more layers you have, the longer it takes. And usually that means it's a more detailed print. But we uh, we had a couple of failures with that. Uh, lots of uh, things we had to read and adjust. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, it, everything's been working quite well. And we're just really enjoying the ability to experiment and play and try different things. One thing we're doing a lot of at the moment is we get um, the resin, which we can actually add our own custom dyes to. So the Cabo Creative logo we've just created for our designers, we custom made the color to add to the clear resin. And we're actually very impressed that we got the colors um, bang on because the colors we normally get are black, green, red, uh, or grey, or yellow. Um, but we are really proud that we can actually create something that's very true to the likeness of the designs that we're being given. And Jemima, if somebody does want to spread some viral kindness, um, or maybe they just want to treat themselves, which I'm quite tempted to do, how do we put in an order? Of course. So if you want me to create you something, all you need to do is get in touch via my Twitter account, and that's at Jemima Wilcox. So that's J-E-M-I-M-A. W I double L C O X or email me on hello at Jemima Wilcox uk. We'll have a bit of a chat and all I need to ask you to do is send me a self addressed envelope and I'll send that back to you um, with a big smile um, and hopefully you and everybody will want to do that. So please do. I really would love to spread the viral kindness to the whole of your audience and also Louise do let me know what I can create for you and I'll be happy to do so. <laughs> oh, you, I'm going to find you one like this <laughs> taking it take 19 hours. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really go really go for the maximum now. Um, Jemima, oh, Will <laughs> Jemima Wilcox, <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you for putting a smile on my face thank you for still making 3d um printing so super complicated um i will understand it one day i think i got a little bit further today than normal <laughs> Brilliant. Well, check out the video louise i'm pinned it up on profile and you can understand it completely there i will do thank you jemima